Hey everyone, Corey from Aquarium Co-op. In Kyoto at Pet Freak, it is raining an insane amount and uh, we've been walking for quite a while to find this place and it'd take a bunch of trains, but let's see what's inside. So let's get started outside, the tanks start outside and uh, a bunch of cool goldfish here. This is like a fantail, for lack of a better term, fantail lion head or fantail ranchu. You know, so it's got, you know, a mixed tail there, but these guys, obviously short body Ryukin, things like that. And how much are these guys? These guys are 50000 so what is that, $500? No, that can't be right. 50000 yeah, these guys are expensive. Uh, down here, it looks like we've got baby goldfish, just chilling with an aerator going. Over here, it's got some kind of like barb that I don't know. It reminds me of like mascara barbs and things, but yeah, so let's take a trip inside. So right when we get in, ADA Aquascape tank. Gonna zoom in. So it's a little more from doing some work. Drinking quite a bit of CO2 really. And you got, see even this tank's got, you know, black fruit algae going on some of the wood, but they're dressing that, looks like. I'm just kind of glancing over stuff. I haven't looked at any stuff either yet. It's a little brackish puffer in there. Kind of a dry start. I think it's a dry start take home and fill up type of deal. Some hermit crabs, but you know, lots to look at here. Let's see, pet freak again. So we've got some angels over here, looks like bale tail angels. I love the curved glass these have. Oh, interesting. They have, right there, they have a plastic kind of uh, return. It's usually a glass lily pipe return. I wonder if we could import those in the United States. And I noticed here they have two different types of oxalotl foods. I heard these were coming to the U.S., but that's been like six months now, and they're not out yet. So, it's kind of neat. Other oxalotl food here, too. But hopefully I can find all kinds of stuff we don't have in the U.S. that I can take a look at. Lots of koi foods. They're not koi foods, but hmm, interesting. Let's see these guys here. Oh, this is a hari. Algae wafers, different packaging. Kind of neat. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of awesome. And earth ears and. Oh, I see what they've done. They've put the spray bar, the return for the Eheim filter here is under the. And it's doing that. That's kind of a really cool effect. I might have to uh, replicate that at home because that is, that is really cool. These are albino sturbi corridors. They're not as common. I normally see just normal corridors. Some waterfall tanks here with some plants. Or nubius, looks like. Wabikusa balls that you can buy. Looks like they're you know roughly ten dollars to twenty dollars depending on you know these guys look pretty nice. Let's go over here. We got mono shrimp. So these plants seem pretty comparable to uh, U.S. prices. You know each stem plant like this is uh, money wart. It's three dollars for a bunch, which you know I don't like bunches much, but very comparable. Let's see what else we've got. Lots more plants, wisteria. What is this? This looks like, okay. This is sponge that you basically put to the bottom of the tank to hold the plants, the stem plants. Looks a nice blixa, some healthy blixa. That's all purling, so they must be injecting CO2 somehow, but at the same time, I don't see it. And they're just using, so the crazier part is, 
So you see here that it's Blixa, and if we look up top, they're using T8 bulbs to purl this Blixa. That's, I'm impressed by that. But they have a very still top water there, but it'll show you that it's not all about the lighting. So here in Japan, we've got cyanobacteria taking over this tank here. Looks like some crypts, it's all crypts in here. Um, what else do we have going on? Kind of trying to take it all in for you guys. Some Java moss, it's not doing so hot. Glow light tetras, neons. Wow. If, if I don't know any better, these neons are decently small or three bucks a piece. The albino neons, three fifty a piece. Dollar for white clouds, roughly. I mean, this is you know with conversion rates. Cardinals. Cardinals are only two bucks a piece. How is that possible? Maybe those are diamond head neon tetras up there or something. We've got celestial pearl danios at five dollars roughly. And we've got lots of lamp Achilles. And more cardinals at two bucks. These all look like ten gallons here. And lots of basically sword tails, platies, and uh, guppies. I almost built my store this way actually to have rack and out to do this. I end up choosing not to. But lots of undergravel filters. These guys are very nice. The RREAs, the albino blue, uh, blue topaz. I like those guys quite a bit. I think we've got some, some similar in my fish room. These blue Silverado Inlers are nice. I think they're a nicer quality than I normally see in the US. We got more of those. We got some red deltas. I think I like mine better that I have. We got some half black pastels. Those are decent. And then we've got the black Moscows. I'm not sure what these ones are. They're kind of a different one I hadn't seen before. Um, but looks kind of, you know, lots of ADA or at least, you know, substrate, ADA substrate, I would say. So we've got some angels up here. Female bettas, some quarries. Looks like clown killies. How much are clown killies here? Hmm, I have to guess. Looks, I guess it's three dollars, but what do I know? Sturbite quarries are seven dollars. Got some brocus. I don't know if they're multi videos or the same old greens there. But looks like lots of quarries. What I what I do love about this store is most of the tanks are one to two species. I love seeing that. Oh man. I've been looking for this fish for so long. I want this corridor so bad. This is the uh, biggest bobbinade? I mean, I'm super jealous. I, I would love to take those home. I want them in the U.S. badly. I want to try and spawn them. But they've got that flag tail to them. They're, they're on my they're on my to-get list. There's not that many fish that are still on my to-get list, but that one is. Let's see what we've got in here. We've just got lots of bristle nose, it looks like. More and more, ah, those are like commons. These guys are decently cool. It doesn't have an L number, and I don't know off the top of my head. Looks like a gold nugget or something like that back there. And then some nice zebras. And it looks like that right there is actually a leopard frog bucko. Yeah, so I would guess that this is the, the zebra. That's about $230. I can't read the other ones, but I'm guessing maybe uh, the leopard frogs are about $48. Got some more stuff back here. Huh, I don't know that I'd seen that one before, so I'm going to come and take a look at it. But we've got uh, the long fin tiger barks. I don't know if I'm in love with it, but I like the orange on the bottom. But kind of neat and unusual. I hadn't seen those before in person. Looks like these might be. Uh, Bitterlings, maybe? And this fish I don't know, actually. I don't know. It's all like barbed fish. I haven't seen that before ever. So that's kind of cool and unique. Some blood fin, glass blood fins. More, oh, 
it's a probably some Madaka rice fish. Let's see what else we got here. Congo tetras, some Thomasai. It's like baby rainbows. What else do we have here? It's like some fricata rainbows and some threadfin rainbows. Some kissing fish, maybe mascara barbs or something close to that. Some little hatchets. That's a plant. Oh, that's why. I was like, I didn't know that plant, but it's catch like kind of a marimel moss ball. If you guys haven't seen these, I could import these. I just always choose not to. These are the balloon Hirokurabis. Kind of cool, but at the same time, I think it's taking the wrong direction. So we've got a bunch of pea puffers over here. Let's keep looking, shall we? Let's see, we got rams. Not doing so well in the rams. Albino cribs. Electric blue rams up here. What is that thing, the super red ram that I haven't seen in person before ever? I've seen about, talked about them online, or I've seen them in, you know, uh, yeah, just like a Facebook group, but I've never seen them in person. More and more rams. So, lots of dry goods. Mostly what we have. I mean, not too, too different, I would say. Um, you know, but let's take a look at goldfish and things while we're here, because I kind of like that. So, some decent ranch shoes. You know, something like that. They got 48 bucks. Some butterflies. That I'm gonna find some cool stuff here, some bigger stuff maybe. Some koi, these koi look to be about 50 bucks a piece down here. They're definitely pretty big. Not, not very high grade though, honestly, they're just you know, big. Sure, not not Madoka, but these rice fish are very neat. I really need to start getting into these. Five dollars a piece, three fifty a piece. Uh, let's see what else I got over here. It's like some newts and some other shiners. Some long fin koi over there. Well, let's 
take a look and see if there's anything else upstairs. So now we're upstairs, it's all the other types of pets, but you can get a view of the store down here, at least half the store. Like that way there's all the goldfish and the ice fish you're looking at. And then as I come down here, I might be able to show you the other half of the store. And that way it's pretty big for Japan, I'd say. So that's Pet Freak. Awesome store. I fell in love with those rice fish. I'm going to try and get some into the country and start playing with some of these strains. I didn't realize they were bred like guppies here where there's so many different strains. They're all line bred. I already tried to get some, but they can't ship them without customs, things like that. So I'm going to look for some wholesale there to see if I can get them in. Uh, but if you like this content, go ahead and like. Otherwise, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.